I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I'm a sergeant in the United States Army. I'm in the United States Army. And uh, I'm a U.S. Air Force veteran. I was in the United States Army. I'm in the United States Army Reserves. Serving specifically in Baghdad from October of 2007 to December of 2008. I've been to Kuwait, Korea, Afghanistan, and all over the United States. I was an aircraft and technology um, journeyman. Uh, I fixed and maintained aircraft and weld, welded and machined parts for the aircraft. As a 25 Sierra satellite communications technician, I'm in the Iowa National Guard. Uh, the Army uh, for about 10 years as an enlisted guy. And then I completed my 10 more years in the Air Force and retired as a captain. Kosovo, serving under NATO command, part of Charlie Company 37 Infantry, 3rd Infantry Division. When I served three tours in Iraq, 68, I was there for three tours. Ground reconnaissance, one man team. 97 Bravo, which is a counterintelligence special agent. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. I was an intelligence analyst. Um, former U.S. Army specialist. Uh, deployed to uh, Southwest Asia twice. Uh, Desert Shield and Desert Defiance. I served in the Army for eight years, Army Reserve. I'm an Air Force veteran. I'm also a former Constitution Party candidate for Governor of Maryland. I'm a 24-year veteran of the United States military. I can say with pride that I've had a direct line ancestor in every war that this country has ever fought. I served two years in Japan, and my last seven months was in uh, California. I was with the Army Security Agency. Georgia and Texas Army National Guard. I'm a veteran of the Army, serving from March 2006 to August 2009. I am a 25 uniform. I'm a tactical communications specialist. I served in the United States Army from 2002 to 2008. I'm a 68 Juliet, medical logistics specialist. My rank is E5 Sergeant. I spent six years on active duty. I was deployed for one year to Iraq with the 17 single battalion out of Kitzingen, Germany. I also spent 15 months in Afghanistan with the 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I was stationed in Germany. I did tours in Kosovo and Iraq. I'm a retired Air Force officer, a businessman in Arizona, and co-founder of the Goldwater Institute. I served in the United States Air Force for five years active duty, one year of reserve. My MOS is 25 Papa. That's a WAN network technician. Uh, I was a first. I was a combat medic for 10 years in the army, and then I switched into the nursing field. I studied after second class or E5. My rating in the navy was CPI, the Pelagic Technician Interpreter. I was with the uh, CBs. I was a steel worker as a uh, chief nurse of the surgical evacuation hospital. I served in Vietnam. I'm a six-year veteran of the U.S. Navy. I am a West Point graduate. In the military, I was an Airborne Marine Qualified Engineer Officer. My job was to fly in a reconnaissance aircraft uh, with a top secret clearance over Afghanistan and to uh, provide intelligence reports to the guys on the ground. I'm a veteran of the United States Army. I got a total of 28 years in the Army, combined active duty and Army Reserve. I served in Iraq, Japan, Korea, and in the U.S. In 1937, I was vice president of the 36th Division of Infantry. The United States Army, you know, 65 to 68. I'm an eight-year Air Force veteran. I spent four years in the United States Navy. Uh, I was in the Army uh, in 1960 to 1963. And a two-tour veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom. I served my country as a registered nurse for two years. I served two years in the Army over in Germany. I spent six years in the Navy. And I spent nine years in the Army. Hi, my name is Staff Sergeant Tanner Koo. I'm a U.S. infantryman. I've been in the Marines for 26 years. I retired from the Marine Corps Reserve as a colonel, and I also served and was mobilized in Desert Storm and for Operation Enduring Freedom and for Operation Iraqi Freedom. I support Ron Paul. I am a veteran for Dr. Ron Paul. I support Ron Paul. Supporting Ron Paul. 
I think the best choice for veterans would be Dr. Paul. Ron Paul. I'm supporting Texas Congressman Ron Paul. I am voting for Ron Paul. For Ron Paul. And I was really excited to see this guy in the presidential debates uh, by the name of Ron Paul. Ron Paul is the exception to the establishment candidates. Vote for Ron Paul. Support Ron Paul in 2012. I am a strong supporter of Ron Paul. And I support Ron Paul. You want to save this country. Ron Paul is our man. Ultimately, Ron Paul's goal is one of peace and a desire to allow people to live as they themselves see fit. I support Ron Paul for president in 2012. I'm a supporter of Ron Paul. I'm coming out and I'm fully endorsing Ron Paul for the presidency in 2012. I support Ron Paul for president. I agree with almost everything Ron Paul was saying. Supporting Ron Paul. Dr. Paul's theories made a whole lot of sense. I support Ron Paul. And joining forces with Dr. Ron Paul's revolution. And when people ask me why I'm for Ron Paul, I tell them. He is an amazing man, but I think it's his message that really drew me to him. How I found out about, about Ron Paul is... I support Ron Paul for president. Ron Paul has no corporation behind him. He owes nothing to anybody but the common man, and that's who's supporting him. And I support Ron Paul. It is Ron Paul. And that is why I wholeheartedly support this man. I'm Ron Paul. I'm a congressman from Texas, serving in my 10th term. I am the champion of the Constitution. As a member of the military, I've taken an oath to support and defend the Constitution. And Ron Paul, as a member of Congress, has also taken that same oath but he's really the only one that upholds it. Um, it shows me how, how big of a champion of the Constitution Ron Paul is. And, and he follows the Constitution. Simply because when you sign up for the military and you sign the dotted line, you're there to defend America and the Constitution, and Ron Paul is the only person that's been doing that. He took an oath to, to support and defend the Constitution, and there's only one candidate out there who actually is going to do that. That man is named Ron Paul. I've always supported Mr. Ron Paul because he firmly believes in the Constitution. I love the fact that he is a constitutionist. He's the only one with a consistent track record to prove that he is standing by the Constitution 100% of the time. Of course, Ron Paul is very well known for being the champion of the U.S. Constitution. He's also the only representative in Congress that takes his oath to the Constitution and the rule of law seriously. Ron Paul is definitely, he's the champion of the Constitution. He truly understands not just the Constitution itself, but what the Constitution acknowledges, which is the natural rights that all humans have and the liberties which it represents. I took an oath to support defend the Constitution, and he's the only elected representative that actually takes his oath seriously. Ron Paul is a strong supporter of the Constitution. And which politician automatically votes no if the bill or resolution he's asked to vote on is an outline in Article 1, Section 8. Can you think of any other candidate that could justifiably put their picture on the inside cover of a pocket constitution? Uh, most importantly, I support Ron Paul due to his honesty and um, integrity for the Constitution and willingness to follow the Constitution at all times. The man is going to get us back to where we were constitutionally. I saw Ron Paul on the stage talking about the Constitution. This is constitutional stance. Because Dr. Paul's constitutional philosophy probably most closely resembles that of our founders. I um, love the fact that he's been in Washington for 30 something years and hasn't been corrupted. He stands on his principles and his morals. And hasn't caved in. Uh, he's a man full of integrity and um, he's someone that our family can really get behind. Dr. Ron Paul's message is consistent, it's easy, and it's just common sense. End the wars, be fiscally responsible, smaller government, and just adhere to the rule of law. 
Because he's the only one that's honest. He's the only one that wants to really, truly straighten up the country. I encourage everyone out there, especially veterans, to look into the policies of Ron Paul and um, do your research, learn more about him, and then go to the poll and support him. Once again, the power is in your hands. Ron Paul is clearly our best hope for America. Mr. Paul would unhesitantly use whatever force was necessary to protect the home and heart citizens of the United States, but not one down or one American life to police the world or protect the bottom line of some corporation. This man's voting record is pristine. He's been doing the same thing, saying the same thing for 30 years. You know, the man has served our country, he's a doctor, and he cares. Please, be a true patriot. Do your homework about the founding of our nation, our debt, Read the words of our founders, and I trust that you'll see there's only one clear choice in 2012. Ron Paul 2012, I think he's the man, and I encourage you to, to join us in this fight. I'd just like to, to tell everybody to go out and, and do your research on Ron Paul. He's, uh, sometimes his policies aren't easy to understand. Sometimes it, you gotta read a little bit because they don't make, they don't, you know, it's, it's so different from what the mainstream media tells you. So go out, do your research on Ron Paul, and you will find that He's right.